With the advent of social media, Satwe has evolved with the times to bring you the educator's voice on your social media platforms. To report on issues regarding your conditions of service, union programs, and to highlight the successes of members who excel in the profession, and many more. Comrades, members of the South African Democratic Teachers Union, the country over, the supporters of the union, as we celebrate the 29 years of our freedom on the 27th of April 2023. We are celebrating it under the theme Consolidating and Safeguarding Democratic Gains. Since the 1994 democratic breakthrough, our country had many democratic gains that we must always cherish despite also the challenges that are existing. We are known as a country that has a universally renowned constitution whose main pillars are to advance and protect the rights of our people. Many rights are enshrined in the constitution and amongst those rights is the one right to basic education for all and it's covered in terms of section 29 bill of rights of the constitution. The basic tenets of this right is that all must have access to quality education. And as the South African Democratic Teachers Union, we have vowed to enhance access to quality public education. We are also celebrating one of the most important rights for our children as well, the access to school nutrition through the National School nutrition program that has been there in our country, which has ensured that the majority of our learners in the majority of our schools in the deep rural areas and the township schools access a basic meal a day. We are happy to recognize the fact that we are at this level of our democratic dispensation and would love to ensure that our children continue to enjoy these rights. It is important that we continue to fight for the improvement of education to ensure that all those who have a right to it access education. We must continue, comrades, to fight and ensure that we eliminate the high dropout rate that is prevalent in our schools. The girl child must be ensured that she accesses education even in the worst of times during her menstrual cycles a month. This is why the union is engaged in all efforts to ensure that even the girl children do not miss a day in school. Our members are coming a long way. Our union has continued to ensure that we fight for collective bargaining. And this is the reason why we have signed a collective agreement even this year to ensure that our members do have an improvement in their notches as well as an improvement in their contribution towards their pension. It is important that comrades, we continue to fight for the improvement of sports because we have a history of fighting for non-racial sports. Currently, we have a problem because sports continues to be accessed by a chosen few. And it is in this light that Congress must continue to ensure that we ensure that sports is accessed by all learners in our schools. Another pressing matter that we must deal with is the issue of recognition of our indigenous languages. Our children must learn, play in all indigenous languages. And comrades, we must strive to ensure that our languages get recognized in our lifetime. These are some of the benefits, comrades, that have been there for us all. And it is our duty to preserve them. It is our duty to ensure that we consolidate them where they are. Uh, uh, challenges. We must fight for improvement. Otherwise, comrades, those who have died for our freedom would have died in vain if we lose these benefits, if we lose them during our lifetime. We call upon all our members to go back to their sites, 
ensure that our children learn. Those in the deep rural areas, in our schools, in the townships, comrades, it is your duty to teach them and teach them indeed. As we celebrate these 29 years of freedom, a lot has been done. That's why we are making this clarion call, comrades, to say everybody must go back to the trenches, ensure that, comrades, we continue to fight for the improvement of what is happening in our schools. This is the reason why the union is calling upon province is like the KZN to ensure that our learners receive school nutrition. Whatever has been the hold up uh, in them accessing national school nutrition programs in KZN, all efforts, all hands on deck, comrades, we must ensure that we resolve that matter. Enjoy this day. Remember, we need to consolidate and safeguard our democratic gains so that we move together and march forward. My name is Dr. Deshni Pele and I am currently the Deputy Principal of Sanford Primary School situated in Phoenix, Durban, KwaZulu-Natal. Freedom Day is a significant day in the calendar as it marks a very important day for all South Africans, more especially for education. As a passionate and educated educator, it is important to acknowledge and educate it learners about the history of Freedom Day and the ongoing fight for equality and justice for all. Freedom Day serves as a reminder of the progress that has been done. It is a day to promote unity, strength, respect and understanding among all people regardless of their race, ethnic group, religion and background. I would like to end with this most powerful quote by our late iconic president Nelson Mandela and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon used to change the world. My name is Shine, a member of the South African Democratic Teachers Union, even though in retirement. I want to indicate that uh, the Freedom Day is with us. I want to express my gratitude to the working class, to the educators, to the community, the civic organizations who had actually assisted us in defeating the evil uh, regime of apartheid. And uh, for having done that, we then acquired, you know, one major thing, that of voting. And we had voted our government in place. Those are the gains that we have achieved. So please, go out there, but don't forget to send that message to our community to say we need to protect our structures. Please. Thank you, Sadu. As a former member and leader of our organization with this blanket, we would like to say, you know, we, we, we respect you, we commend you, we love you so much, and the organization still remembers your contribution to the organization, to the growth of this giant union, Satu. No, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. will yes. Then convey my thanks to Satu. To the leadership. Yes, okay, please. all right. Thank you. thank you very much. A manjla, power to its people, power. Viva Satu, viva. Manjla, long live. The people structures, long live. Forward with education, forward. Freedom to our children, freedom. Amanda, viva the South African Democratic Teachers Union. Enjoy the day, comrades. This is Sato Online TV, coming live from Matthew Koliwe House. This is Nomusa Kendi, your host. Amanda.